We talked about doing our best on the SAT involves finding the easier way to do a problem rather than the harder way. If you want to go to SAT practice test number three, section three, question number six. This problem is going to mimic that problem and show you the real math way, the Khan Academy way, and then the kind of test trick way. One is not better, we want to know both, and then pick the one that works faster, easier, better for you. Here we go. Okay, lovely. The question is, what does x minus y equal? So, Khan Academy. We'll take this again. We will multiply this times 3, and the second one by 4. When we do that, this will come down 12x minus 9y, correct me if I do the math wrong, 18, 12x minus 16y equals 4 times negative 43 is what, 100, negative 136. Awesome. So we want to get rid of either the x or the y. So we're going to uh, we'll subtract that whole second equation from the whole first. 12x minus 12x, 0x minus 9y minus a minus becomes plus 16y. So plus 16y minus 9y is plus 7y. We're getting there. 18 minus minus so it becomes plus 136 gets me 154. Okay, great. 154 divided by 7. It goes in twice, or you do on a calculator if it's a calculator section. 14, right? Carrying down 1 and 4 gets me 22. Awesome. Y is 22. <sighs> Next page. If Y is 22, we need to find X. So let's go use our first equation. We could use either of these, but we'll use just the first one. 4X minus 3 times 22, I should write bigger for y'all, is 6. 4x minus 66 equals 6. Still with me? Add 66, add 66. We're getting closer, I swear. 4x equals 6 plus 62 is 72. Lovely. How do I get x? Divide by 4, divide by 4. Do it on a calculator, long division, whatever you like. 72 divided by 4. 1, 3. Oops, excuse me. 1, 4. 7 minus 4 is 3. Bring down the 2. How many times does 4 go into 32? It goes in 8 times, so x is 18. Next page. We had y is 22. We had x is 18. What was our original question? I think it was x minus y. That's where we started. What is x minus y equal? 18 minus 22 is minus 4. You're practically a genius. Lovely. Lots of paper. Let's see if there's a better way to do it, shall we? Great. Our original equations, 4x minus 3y equals 6, 3x minus 4y equals minus 34. What are we trying to find? x minus y. Here's the trick. Hmm, just for fun, if I added these equations, 7x minus 7y equals minus 28. But you're saying, Ned, they're not asking me for 7x and 7y, they're asking me for 1x and 1y. Well, you're right. How could we go from 7x to 1x? I don't know. Maybe divide by 7, which means we'd have to divide that by 7, and we divide that by 7. 7x divided by 7 is x, 1y, and then negative 28 divided by 7 is negative 4. Which way do you like better? So we're happier. Why are we happier? Fewer steps fewer opportunities to make a mistake, and less time. You spend less time here, that leaves you more time for a problem later on that might be hard, where you have to do it the real math way. There's not as much a shortcut. So for the redesigned SAT, yes, we want to know real math, but we still want to keep our eyes peeled for an easier way, a quote unquote trick, because a trick saves you time, makes you happier, and still gets you the right answer.